pointing about the corner of Verney Street and Malkman Street where there used to be that big surface rock there on those allotments on that corner. I remember when I was part of the Shire Council, J.D. Booker coming in with his big delegation of people. He'd surround himself with his advisors, very important. You know, like a retinue of them came in to tell us that he wanted to build that high rise on, on that particular block. Of course, I think it was the first significant high rise in Calandra. It was, that yeah. Tall, with its lift and all the other stuff. And it put on a very impressive performance. Uh, I think that design is copied from another design that he had made for another building in Brisbane, but it suited the years. That, that was the one. And uh, while we were all talking and everyone was having cups of tea and, and congratulating one another and thinking well of it, Miriam Westerway was in the council at the time. She that block used to belong to my family and uh, he must have made a mental note of that and I think after we went and had a cup of tea and came back into the council he said I've decided to call the building Westerway Towers <laughs> mainly because huh. Miriam Westerway mentioned it at that meeting mm. so that was interesting he seized that opportunity and uh, it's got a lot of historical significance bit different from what you're saying, it wasn't the Burgess one, but it was a, it used to belong to the West of Oates once. They also used to own the other end of the street, didn't they, uh, on the corner of uh, King and uh, Edmund Street. I think West of Oates were up that end too. Hey, but that rock had a name, didn't it? It was Lizard Rock. It was in that Sunday Mail article you had from the um, way back. <coughs> it's pro probably in here somewhere. <coughs> Because it must have been significant for Aboriginal people, you'd think, because cause Sugar Bag Road was the old Aboriginal route into Caloundra, and, and, and you'd be able to sort of sit up there and look look either way and see what was happening. And mm. yeah. I've sat on it a few times before the building was there. It was just a nice spot to park yourself and see the rest of Caloundra. Yes. My stepfather, Jim Settle, who ended up building down below the... Anglican Church, he had the next house to Westerway Towers in Burnie Street on the right as you head east, double story place, and he and my mother lived there for years too. I think that's been pulled down now because of an uneven sort of a block right next to there, and uh, it was been used for happy hours. There's been many happy hours there, and I suppose I have too, visiting them. Mm. The National Bank of, came into here, yeah. sorry, yeah. sorry the only bank in Calandra in 56 was one up in the corner of Canberra Terrace which was visited by the ANZ from Mullaney once a week. And I used to bank with them so I had to organise your banking that had fitted this once in a week scale. In 56? Mm. My God. Mm. When did you come here? Or why 56. Here? 56. I, was, I started my business here in 1956. Just just, just about two doors up here. What was your business? Savannah. Savannah. Yeah, Jerry was the surveyor from down. He did everything. I know a bit. You know a bit. As a matter of fact, when I came, the bitumen in the main street had just been widened to the curb. These were dirt roads, Dingle Avenue and all that. And so that's Dingle Crossroad, yeah? That's not Dingle, I've made a mistake. That's, that's Knox. Knox. Oh, Knox, Knox yeah, Avenue, yeah, yeah, Knox Avenue. I remember the pub we used to be here, and I remember nearly getting skittled crossing that road one day. Because they come out of the pub and they went whizz around into this dirt road. If I hadn't have jumped fast, I'd have been a dead fella. <laughs> so that's that's the bank there, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. That's the old, what's the ESNA bank then? ESNA was the strong bank. I think they had one at Mullaney too. But I didn't bank with them. I'm still with bloody ANZ. Mm. And VOQ as mm. well, which is here. I remember when I surveyed from the post office to Hensel's Corner. Mm -hmm. I had to do a job for the Commonwealth Bank. I found, I think it was 10 or 14 inches extra land in the, uh, over and above what the title said there was. So what I had to do was distribute that fairly. <laughs> <laughs> and the, <laughs> the old theatre, that was on this side, that was a different survey on that side, done at a different time. These were the old 33 foot wide blocks, but uh, the, the theory of distribution of excess used to be you took a lot of respect for occupation. So if someone had occupied it, you didn't just maliciously or any other way just say, oh, you're over the boundary. You tried to accommodate what they'd done. Mm. But it turned out 
accommodated them all from the existing buildings, of which there weren't many. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think everyone got uh, 0.05 of a link. <laughs> What's 7 inches of a link? The link is 7.92 yeah. inches. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, a twentieth of that. And it worked out pretty well. And I pinned it down bloody definitely so no one could move it. And uh, another time over here I, I found, well obviously there's success on this side too, but not that amount. And there's used to be the old Seabury's Cafe was there. Yeah. And I had to redo it. And I gave it a fair bit because it actually occupied it. So the owner would have been pretty pleased. And these days when you're buying land by the foot Having excess is a wonderful thing to find. Having a shortage is not so good, <laughs> but that happens sometimes. But most of the old surveys left you with excess. I remember down at Redcliffe where I started surveying, a lot of old surveys west in the west part of Redcliffe, uh, on the right-hand side of the road that goes down to the Hornybrook Highway. We reckon the old surveyor out there used to throw in about 10 links for every thousand he measured just to make sure there was excess. <laughs> And used to find it too. Anyway, that's a bit of cod If we'd have followed the what had been going on in the past, these houses would have been back where my finger is, because mm -hmm. the deed showed that the esplanade was to be 150 links wide, which is about 99 feet. And uh, well, there's a chain and a half all the time. Chain and a half, that's right. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I remember Clem Jones was a consulting surveyor at the time. He encouraged me a lot to give a lot more to the public. And I didn't mind, didn't need any encouragement to do that, so we just sliced it straight across and dedicated a lot more park in front to widen the esplanade. Mm -hmm. And that's what you got today, and that's a good esplanade. It's beautiful. Yeah. Mainly because I took notice of the clues that I was given. Mm -hmm. But that's good. There's another park in here, that's Porter Park over the back. But old Roy was, he was a bit of a... Um, look to the future too, you know. He wasn't a bad bloke. Mm -hmm. He was good for me because he gave me a pretty free go. I probably made a lot of money for Roy. Mm. <laughs> this estate was developed, a lot of it was semi tidal. We pumped a quarter of a million cubic yards of soil from here up to there out of the passage okay. and that filled it. Mm -hmm. I had to do the soundings for all that and do the calcs, but it worked out all right and I just kept pumping and the overflow used to flow into Lameroff Creek and it was muddy by then and I think we raised the level of some of the parts of Lameroff Creek by, by a foot with just pure silt. Yes. We, that wasn't the intention but we learnt that that was what was happening. But anyway, that's a, that's a good old military jetty. I don't know what day that photo was taken. I've got all the original plan. Well, we're trying to date it. We're yeah. trying to get it right. Well, mm. 70s. Mm. 70s. We subdivided about 59 and 60. It didn't take long for Roy to sell it. Matter of fact, I used to own that corner block for a while. He gave me that as part of my fee. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> These days, that's one hell of a fee, isn't it? Yeah. It was probably <coughs> worth about seven or eight hundred dollars then. Probably today, it's, if it was vacant, it would probably be seven or eight hundred thousand, yeah. I suppose. Yeah. I've forgotten. This one here I developed as a shopping centre, but it never took off. I had these little blocks and I had a walkway through and all that surrounding part there was parking but we didn't know how to call it parking so we called it road and dedicated as road so anyone had any of those blocks their parking's already been provided in the original survey. I did some units on that back block there I remember getting a, um, a bit of building 500 millimetres from a road getting that through council, so that was pretty good. You did well. <laughs> That's where it's meant to be, because the blocks were only pretty small. Chopping blocks, weren't they? That name's one's named after me. Yes. You know that one, don't mm. you? Jerry Bell Street. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I do know that one. How yeah, come you know so much? I might go and have a look in there. Oh, was it uh, Hensel's for 16 years? Oh, so oh, wealth of information. <laughs> <laughs> I, got from, I used to have long yarns with Roy. Yeah. I'd go down and have a yarn with him. Yeah. I'd forget where I parked the car, but he was <laughs> a very informative bloke. Yeah. And you're from Moffat Bench? Yeah. So I'm, I'm down in Campbell Street there. Yes, I know. The best, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we must know a bit about Moffat. And, yeah. yeah okay. Have a look at that Sunshine Coast Places website. Roger it's on Todd, our isn't it? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Right, good on you, Right. <laughs> <laughs> you were a saleswoman for a while too? Yeah. 
Yeah. You might have tried to sell me a block of Harry Burns at Pendennis Court once. I'm not sure. I think I remember getting a brochure. Yeah. I liked it a lot, yeah. but this yeah. wasn't quite what I wanted. Yeah. Not quite big enough. <laughs> not even a big house. It's hard to downsize, oh, isn't yeah. it?